Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Phasmophobia. I have reached level 100, which means that I can now prestige again, but that would mean that I would lose all these wonderful items. So before we do that, and I have to say goodbye to all this good stuff, I thought we'd do my favorite challenge with all of the best items in the game. I am obviously talking about no evidence, which is a challenge where you play the game without getting any evidence. So all you have, all you have at your disposal to figure out the ghost is their strengths, their weaknesses, their abilities, and every other little thing you've learned in all your time playing this game. It's super fun to play, and it'll teach you a lot about the game. I really hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. And let's hop into the game. Let's go. All right, what do we got? We got Jan Robinson. We're also very close to 7,000, which is pretty sick, or K7,000, which means that I've played way too many games. Look at all this beautiful stuff. Now, um, if you've seen me play in No Evidence before, uh, you know that I still have all the evidence items. Why? Uh, some of these are useless, by the way. The writing book and the dots, I'm not going to be using those, but uh, there's actually quite a few that are useful. The Thermo, I'm frozen right now. I don't know why. Um, the Thermo can allow you to find the ghost room, obviously. The EMF is insanely important to track activity of the ghost, and the video cam can actually help you to figure out if it's a mimic or not because the mimic ability to show orbs is not an evidence it is an ability so it will still do that even when you set the custom difficulty to have no evidence uh there we go that took forever um we're just gonna run in here we have our uh, my favorite item my personal favorite the tier three head cam i'm gonna miss that i think you unlock it at like level 82 which takes so long to get um and it is so much easier to do uh, I mean, it's not necessarily so much easier to do no evidence, but having, like, a, a head... What the fuck? Where's the ceiling? Is that bugged? <laughs> Why is... Is that supposed to be like that? I heard something here. I've never paid attention to that. Why is the ceiling a fucking black hole? Excuse me? <laughs> I heard a sound here. You can't hide from me, you dingus. I think maybe it was in the living room or in the master bedroom. Do you hear that? We have a mirror, though, so I guess we'll just flick up the mirror. And see what we get we get the master bedroom and i can see that the picture is on the ground that was what i heard before there it is uh okay so we found the ghost room now uh we're playing on regular nightmare mode settings which is like uh low interactions high ghost events uh very aggressive hunts long hunts etc etc um because that's just what i'm used to at this point but i've made a few changes just to make like just to allow us to use more of the ghost's strengths and weaknesses for example we have the activity chart right here, as well as the sanity chart. The sanity chart will allow us to see if a ghost is an early hunting ghost or not, because if you don't have it, it's going to be really hard to know if you got hunted at 55% sanity or 49. Like, that difference is just not really... You can't really tell that if you can't see it properly. Uh, we're going to grab this. We're going to grab salt just right off the bat. These are the simple things uh, that you want to get in there ASAP. And we're also going to just put this in in case we're dealing with, like, a Thay or a demon, which is just immediately going to hunt. This really looks extremely weird. I feel I feel like I would have noticed if this <laughs> What the fuck is happening with this game, dude? I literally we we just uh did the weekly challenge and at the end of the weekly challenge I did like a 10 minute monologue about how I find it extremely annoying how broken Phasmo is at the moment and then we run immediately into this shit. What is going on, dude? <laughs> this shit's so bugged. Uh hello. I don't have a photo cam. So creepy. I cannot really hear the thing anymore. Okay, so we got one whisper. Uh, flick on the light switch, flick it off. A test for mayor. Flick on the light switch, flick it off. Do this every now and then. Flick off light switches and flick them off to see if the mayor touches them. Um, oh, the mayor or the ghost is throwing something. Okay, well, that was a very early ghost event. You do have to keep in mind that we were at 80%, so technically it could still be a shade. It's. Oh, what the fuck? What is this? Huh? What is happening in this game, dude? <laughs> what the fuck is this? I've never seen this in my entire life. Is that new? That is insanely broken. Was that because I had the EMF in there? What was that? <laughs> what? Okay, is that twins? What the fuck? That is insane. 
Dude, what is going on? Okay, well, this is spicy. Uh, even after two and a half thousand hours, you can still be surprised by this game. And that is mostly because every single patch, there will be new bugs for you to discover and uh, learn how to deal with until the de developers finally fix them. Uh, which has uh, become my life recently, especially with the quiet hunting bug. Um, that one in particular has had me up in, up in arms because it is extremely frustrating to play with. Uh, but hey, we got... Or, or uh, salt what's up so know this there is this that is a, this is a freaking two interaction right here isn't it maybe what is going this is very strange okay i'm gonna place this here <laughs> what the fuck? uh we should uh, turn on the did i already turn on the breaker no i didn't uh, so, what you're gonna see right now, compared to normal, I- normally I wouldn't really hold a flashlight, but because of the quiet hunting bug, if you don't know what it is, by the way, um, I don't wanna, like, I guess it's good to know, it's not like it's gonna ruin your experience, um, but basically the ghost, when the hunt starts, is extremely quiet, you can't hear it at all until it basically starts walking around so the gray spirit is already over uh which means the ghost could literally be right here i could barely hear it and then it could like instantly kill me as soon as the hunt is over uh so that's why i'm i have made the decision to now basically always carry something electronic on me which will then immediately tell me okay the ghost is hunting right now try to get away from even the slightest hunt or slightest ghost noise um and with the head cam you're not going to know that because the head cam doesn't glitch out when the ghost is close by so it's not going to tell you when the hunt is starting so yeah that's why i've uh i am doing this now usually i wouldn't uh but that's just the way it works now okay we're getting did i already take this photo I did not take this one in particular, I think. Okay. And you gave us a sign. You're mighty spicy. I like this ghost. Turn on the... Wait. Huh? Am I... Huh? Am I insane? Then I just do... Then I just turn on the breaker? Did I just not forget to click this button here? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I know I was talking about something, but... Uh, I did? Okay, well then it is a... Not a gin, because gins can't do that. Uh, and you gave us a sign. And you show yourself. Well, how cold is it here? Probably cold. Now, you you obviously won't get freezing or anything. You won't get freezing. You also won't get EMF on the chart. I often get this question because people think it's disconnected from, like, the actual EMF. No, you won't get EMF, even if it is an EMF ghost, because we've obviously set it to zero evidence. Um, and you give us a sign. You're not blowing out this candle a lot. But I, th that doesn't necessarily have to rule out... Wait, what? You just clicked the... Is that a nursery light switch? Wait a minute. I think it was the nursery light switch, which means it's not a mare. Incredible. Okay. Not a mare. That's a huge rule out. Not an Oni. Another huge rule out. And we're extremely low sanity now. So yes. <laughs> As you can tell by the instant uh, crucifix use. If, that, if I didn't place that crucifix earlier, I would have gotten that door slammed in my face. And I wouldn't have been able to leave. Okay, so that is definitely not a shade, because shades can only hunt at 35% sanity, uh, which we're at 40 sanity right now, so bye-bye uh, shade. Um, I also would say it's not a Dio, because Dio's can only hunt at 40% sanity, which it seems like this is like 42% sanity, so that is also easy rule out. Um, okay, well, that's good stuff. I think we're going to get a hunt here. We could get a motion sensor uh, in there. We'll grab one of these. Uh, and hopefully not die to quiet hunting shenanigans here. Probably not a Yure. Why? I'm gonna place that there. Pick this up. Take a photo of this thing. Oh, I dropped my photo cam up there. Did I take a photo of the mirror? I did not. I'm gonna be very scared here. You know what? I'm also gonna quickly take, just for my photos. The candle is not on. Okay, yeah, that sucks. A, a lot of, I really wonder what the fuck that was, by the way. Hey. <laughs> I know we just glanced past that, but that was something extremely wild, whatever that was. I've genuinely never seen that. It's very interesting. We're gonna place this right here. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Just get all the photos. Oh, you're you're walking through all the salt. Thank you so much, but I'm gonna have to run away from you now. Place fire. Thank you for the donation. It's using the crucifix again. I can't really test for Unreal right now. I'm just gonna test for special hunting ghosts first. Good job. Definitely not a wraith. We know that. Uh, maybe something Romy or Twenty, because it's here right now, which is very sussy. Phantom maybe. 
Hello? Teleporter ghost with teleporting ghosts. Hello? Teleporting ghosts with the quiet hunting things is so annoying. You hear? Like, this sound, it's also, it's not just, um, I can show you this, uh, I will go out, oh, hello. We'll go to, uh, I'm just picking that up now, Grafton or something after this, a uh, house that has a fan. Is it a yoga? Hello? Wait, hello? Hello, hello? Okay, um. Does that sound fat? That was really fucking weird. Um. So basically, what they've done in a recent update, which I don't know why the fuck they've done it. I just don't get me started on <laughs> Phasmo bugs because I'm gonna lose my mind. Um, they have uh, made it so that every single sound effect in the game has a unique volume assigned to it. So every sound effect is manually tweaked compared to, there's no normalization at all. It is all manually tweaked compared to each other's, which they have massively failed at that, which means that for example, the fan noise, you know how loud the fans used to be? The, like, fans in Grafton in, like, the living room in Blisto or something that you can turn on. You used to be able to hear those really clearly. Now, you can hear them, but you have to, like, have your head against it, and you can barely hear it at all. It's extremely quiet because they've changed all these values, and they've done that to all the hunt sounds as well. So, a lot more of the hunt sounds. There used to be that one hunt sound that was barely audible. Now, it's way more common for sounds to be extremely quiet. Hello, hello? Okay, it seems like it's not a yokai, unless just a real coincidence. It's also not slow, right? So it's not a... I'm gonna smudge, I guess, real quick. I slowed it down with my smudge. Uh, so we can, when did I smudge it? At 49.50 or something? Um, <clears throat> okay. So we have uh, we can test for spirit here. Probably not a demon, though. That would have haunted earlier. And we could, uh, grab a crucifix and more candles here. So we can rule out- Oh, hello. I- This is like- I mean, it's not a they, though, because it's sped up slightly, right? It seems very active. No phantom? Yeah, 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 sorry. No phantom, no Raichu, no Mori, no Revenant. Well, more, no, no Mori, no Hantu. It's- I have to test, like- I think it sped up like one tick. It didn't do much though. It didn't speed up much. We'll grab this. I might need to add more candles here. Uh, and then we'll grab another one of this. Is it in that room still? I'm not sure. I thought it sped up like one tiny bit. Let's place this here. Is it still cold in here? It is no longer cold in there, so the ghost room has changed. Uh, we're getting... It's in the living room now? Seems to be pretty cold there. I'm gonna place my stuff. Don't you dare murder my ass. I'm gonna become the Joker. Uh, place all these candles. Oh, hi there. <gasps> I, I ran back through the ghost because I wanted to make sure that it stayed in the ghost room. If I ran away there, I would have uh, made the ghost leave the ghost room, which would have uh, made it di more difficult for me to get evidence, such as figuring out if it's an Unreal, yes or no. You got You gotta... Make sure you're not luring the ghost away from its room if you want to do specific things. Okay. Can you give us a sign? It's already been a minute and a half. So if it doesn't hunt for a long time, we know it's going to be... Oh, God. Where was that? We know it's going to be a potential uh, spirit here. What did that touch? Okay. That door right there, which is kind of annoying for me. Oh, it's blowing out candles. It's good, we might can, like, confuse the spirit for it on Rio or the other way around. Maybe we should ha not have candles right now. I mean, we can figure it out, right? Can you do us, can you give us a sign, please? It's blowing out things. Can you show yourself? Can you do something? Doing non-stop EMF. I can take all those photos, but I want to kind of be a little safer. I mean... It's been, what did I say? It's been almost three minutes. Like th uh, 20 more seconds and it's three minutes. It's blowing out candles. But your lighter also counts as a candle. Why do I always get, I feel like this is extremely common for me. Whenever I do uh, like a no evidence challenge, I always get on Rios for some reason. <laughs> They're so common. Oh, never mind. I don't have an on Rio. Okay. 
And we have... That was exactly three minutes. That was literally three minutes on the dot. Excuse me? Do we say spirit? <laughs> that is... Okay, but definitely not an Onryo, though. That's for sure. Definitely not an Obake. That's for sure. We didn't check for Orbeez yet. We checked for this, right? It's not a Mimic or Myling. Um, should probably get this out of here. Place it over here. I need to get that so much. Stuff. I lost it. Fuck. Go kill me. Where is it? There. Run. Okay. Um. Interesting. Gorio is impossible, right? Because it changed Ghost Room. So no Gorio. Very nice. See how fucking close that ghost was and how far it sounded. Absolute stupidity. Okay. Well, it's not a poltergeist either, right? Oh, God. I guess I'll smudge again. What are you? I guess I'll smudge again. Uh, at th 33 or 53, 55. But I think we're just gonna have to roll with spirit here. It's clearly not a polter. Clearly not a demon. It's clearly speeding up. Um, clearly not a demon. We already tested Joker before. Clearly not a poltergeist. Uh, clearly not twins. Uh, not or probably spirit. We'll check for... Orbeez real kick, just in case it is a... Which, by the way, that's another thing that people might confuse. This quiet hunting noise has nothing to do with Myling. The footsteps is the only thing that matters for Myling. Myling's, uh, like, sound, like, the, the sound the ghost makes, like, the, the, the vocal sounds, are not affected by the Myling's ability. So don't don't get it twisted. Okay, I'm not seeing any orbs unless the ghost just changed ghost room. You can check for that. Nope, it's absolutely there. Okay, uh, it's already been how long? A minute now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that perfect? That is perfect. Kind of lame. You can just take all the ghost or all the salt photos, but I don't make the rules. I just uh, live by them. Uh, and you gave us a sign. Can you hunt early? It's already been a minute and a half, so any normal ghost could hunt right now, except the spirit. We're literally just getting the, the standard. We haven't heard any Yure ability. We had that one whisper. Uh, so high. I'm gonna grab this and hopefully not die to something that's not a spirit. I'm saving my sprint so I can run away in case. Okay, here we go. Uh, we don't care about the cruise. Another whisper. We're doing those for Banshee. I do like. Oh. I like starting out a no evidence challenge with a hard run because it like allows everyone to immediately learn a lot if they've never seen a no evidence before. Like we ruled out all these ghosts one by one uh, by knowing their abilities. Still not hunting. It's been two minutes now. Yeah, it's not an Oni. We already ruled that one out. You can also figure out Oni based on their blinking. Which we're gonna... There's so many different ways to rule out ghosts. So sometimes I won't be talking about all of them. But I'll just use whatever shows up in the game. This is such a spirit. It's like 20 seconds from now. Oh. It's gonna be hunting. I think I'm just gonna bounce. Bounce out of here. For a... An obvious spirit. It's been two minutes and 50 seconds here. All right, goodbye, ghost. Uh, that is, that was, the first one was exactly after three minutes. And now it's two and a half, or two minutes and 50 seconds, and it's still been a I'm going to assume that it's just a spirit. If it's not, then I got freaking turbo bamboozled. And we have all the photos. This should be, you're going to get so much money. If you get good at no evidence, there you go. Oh, that was actually my first spirit. We get an achievement as well. We're slowly getting there. Uh, 40, how many more ghosts? We have... Uh, actually, quite a few ghosts left still. One, two, three, four, five different ghosts. Uh, weekly tasks as well. I need to check those. Look at the... F what? Excuse me. Why is that so fucking high? Holy shit, I forgot how much money you get from this crap. Jesus. All right, that's uh, insane. That's way more than I expected. Uh, let's go to Grrrly still. So I can show you the thing I was talking about with the fans being insanely dumb. Because I think there's only... Oh, it's heavy rain. Uh, there's only fans on these maps. There might be a fan on... I don't know. It's fine. Let's grab this thing. A Belize deal. Heavy rain. But you can still have the candles out in the heavy rain. By the way. 
This one right here. Unless it's different from the one in the Grafton kitchen. Oh, I need to turn on the breaker. I was wait, didn't no? Wait. Did I ch huh? Didn't my custom difficulty have breaker on by default? Are you kidding me? <laughs> wait, it's not a gin? I'm pretty sure I have a breaker on by default cost of difficulty. We'll check it afterwards, but I'm like fairly sure that I did. I said it and I remember setting it in the difficulty, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm playing on the right one. Maybe we'll, we'll see. We'll find out quickly enough. Uh, let's see. The breaker's up here. That's fine. That's our cursed possession again. I already forgot. I don't know if we even saw it. Okay. Could be haunted. That would be insane. Literally turned it off. The instant we walked into the house. That's kind of wild. Already ghost, where you at? What are you doing? Last game it was turned on, yeah. And I didn't touch the custom difficulty, so I don't see a reason why it wouldn't be. Okay, so no gin there. <laughs> and possibly haunt to, because that is insane. Now let's uh, listen to this. You can hear it. You might not be able to hear it on YouTube or Twitch if you don't use very good headphones, but I can hear it is the quietest noise of all time. Or it's just, yeah. It's like, you can barely, I can I max it out? Can people maybe hear it then? You hear that? I just maxed out my volume. You can hear it. But it's like, you, you you know how loud that fucking sound used to be? It was like one of the loudest noises in the game. Why do they not do that? Why don't they do this for the dots sensor? The tier three dot sensor? That would change my life. That would make me happy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know what the hell uh, went wrong with all the audio in the game, but yeah, they have that, that is the example I wanted to show you because it's so damn broken and very strange to me how that happened. Like, why would you go from a system where everything is like normalized and working fine to manually s assigning a value to every single sound effect in your entire game? Like, that is asking for trouble. <laughs> like, it just doesn't make any sense. Right, I'm just picking up this bone now. What? You hear that shit? <laughs> Fucking awesome, dude. <laughs> Alrighty then. Gotta throw that shit off. <laughs> okay, so we have a uh, a ghost in this. Oh god! Hello. Goodness gracious! I'm out of here. Yeah, I could hear that from downstairs. Uh, there's a a few signs. You used to be able to hear like dirty water from anywhere on the map, but then they heavily nerfed that as well, so you can't hear that anymore. Ouch, my ears. You, you guys all put on your headphones, max out your volume, trying to hear the one fan, and now you're losing it. Okay, that's some big spikes, but it doesn't matter because there's no EMF. Uh, we're gonna grab this, um, and we'll... Ooh, that was a pretty big attack on my sanity, actually. Maybe Oni? We'll see. Uh, we're gonna grab this. We're gonna grab, I guess, that then, and we'll do a photo cam just in case it's gonna do more ghost events like that. So we're at 65 right now. We need to keep this in mind because if we get another ghost event, we're going to go back to the truck to see uh, what our sanity is now. And we're going to have to turn on all the lights to preserve our sanity as much as possible. Which is so nice now with the new sanity system where you can actually like lock your sanity in place by just turning on all the lights. It's so neat. You really love this radio, huh? I take that. Let's look for four of these. That would be so easy. Imagine. And you gave us a sign. It's very cold in here. No Orbeez. So no other... I'm going to turn on the light now so we don't lose any more sanity. That was this, I assume. It is that. Take a photo. 
Now, to be fair, they also have bugs that are... Oh, hello. Wait, we're gonna get a singing ghost event. Wait, walk into it and then go back immediately. So we were at 65, then we walked into the ghost, uh, which if it's a normal ghost, we should be at 55. If it is a banshee, we should be at 50. And if it's an oni, we should be at 45. So let's see what we get here. Because the different ghosts have different draining of your sanity. And we are at 55, so what was... Wait, that's a normal ghost, right? What I was saying? Okay, so it's not a banshee, nor is it an oni. Now, what's very important to remember uh, with the... What I just said there is that the 15% sanity for banshee only counts if two conditions are met. The first one is the person that touches the ghost, or I guess three conditions. Someone touches the ghost, because if you don't touch the ghost, it doesn't drain sanity. Unless it's a phantom, by the way, but shit gets a little confusing. Um, if it's, if you touch the, if someone touches the ghost, that person is the target, and it was a singing ghost event, those three things are all true, then it drains your sanity, it drains that person's sanity by 15. If any of those isn't true, well, if the, someone touches the ghost that's not the target, or it's not a singing ghost event, it'll only drain it by 10%. So, uh, pretty confusing. And it also requires you to really pay close attention to your sanity, which luckily we did here. So we get to rule out two ghosts in a different way this time. So last time we ruled out Oni based on the air ball. This time we're doing it a little different. And we can also basically rule out a shade based on those early ghost events, right? Uh, we're gonna grab this. Uh, probably should take a handle i guess for that uh for on rio since we're low can i do your statistics homework no <laughs> mathematic this is the phasmo maths you thought you could escape math hello turn off the light is that an air ball wait what lights are blinking right there excuse me what's happening Oh, you're creepy son of a gun, huh? Oh, you're standing at the light switch. You're staring at it. You're literally staring. <laughs> oh, wait. Mare? Wait. Excuse me? <laughs> Was that a mare? Wait, 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 wait. We can test this. We can test this. We can test for mare. You know, we can test for mare. We just uh, turn off all the lights. And then we see if it still hunts. And we're at exactly 55% sanity right now. So if it hunts when we're at 55, that means it's a mare because it's hunting in the dark. Let's see it. I love that it fucking thing make no, makes no noise anymore. We should still be at the same sanity. All right, do your thing, mare, if you're a mare. Otherwise, it's going to take forever here. <laughs> Tier 3. Wait. Oh, I got the... <laughs> Holy... Fucking crap, dude. <laughs> I got the nutter bug. Look at this one. Yeah, you, you like you like bugs? I, I heard you like bugs, so I put some bugs in your bugs inside your buggy game. <laughs> anyway, um, this is another insanely annoying bug. Uh, it is the uh, shoulder flashlight bug, where for some reason, your shoulder flashlight will just look at the brightness. Right now, if I put the flashlight in my hand, it's like this. If I put it on my shoulder, it's like this. The difference is like literally a hundred times. So when this happens to you, you're just gonna be running around in the dark because you can't see shit. What you have to do to fix this is throw it on the ground and pick it back up and then it should work again. Yeah, there you go. Why? No one fucking knows. Probably not even the devs because I <laughs> fucking hell. Like I'm, I am not kidding. Like I know it's like one of those, oh my God. Um, panic but no it's a genuinely true that current currently right now in this moment of time phasmo is the most broken it's ever been on release day there were less bugs than there are right now there's like so many more actually impactful bugs now than there were on the day that it should have been the most broken which is just insanely <laughs> fucked up but yeah anyway i don't think this is a mare because it is not and that is saying a lot because Phasmo was known for being one of the most broken games already. But yeah. I don't think this is a mare because we didn't get any hunts at all. Yeah, look at that. It, wait. To the point where... What is happening here? 
Okay, so I'm gonna say no mare, definitely no demon. Um, any other ghosts that early hunts? I guess a Raichu also would have probably already hunted. Anria would have already hunted. So this is another thing you can rule out ghosts based on their hunting uh, time that they start hunting. I'm just gonna grab all the salt to get all the photos. We'll see. CJ doesn't have anything to do with bugs. CJ is just... I mean, he makes the art. He makes things look pretty. He doesn't make them function. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm gonna go back up there, I guess. Because it didn't turn- it didn't use a crucifix either, because then the lights would have turned off. Which is another bug, by the way. The lights aren't supposed to turn off, uh, when the crucifix is used. Dude, this ghost loves the radio. Turn that on. Okay, we'll see. Can you give us a sign? Hello, ghost. I have big crucifix here. So, hopefully you're not- I mean, you can't hunt the top of me unless it's gonna do some fucked up shit. Can you give us a sign? Hello, hello, are you still here? It's still cold in here. Definitely still here. Uh, we didn't have orbs, right? So no mimic either. I feel like this could potentially be a Thay that I've already kind of made a little older, maybe? I feel like this is a late hunter. Oh my god, it turned on the fan! That's a quiet- Can I get this fan, dude? That's a fancy-ass fan, man. Uh, on Rio, sir? Hello? What was that? Excuse me? Should be able to take three photos here, unless bug. Wait, was that a- You're right? Um... Excuse me? Yep, alright then. <laughs> well, uh, forget everything you learned, uh, it's just a Yure. Because you see the double door touch here? That are close together? That should be your A. Because the door is fully open as well, right? What the fuck is going on here, dude? Can I get all these photos? Wait, you blew up. Can you give us a sign? Mimic? No, right? And why would the Yure not hunt? That is pretty suspicious. Uh, okay. There you go. I'd use it on top of the candle so we can rule out... We usually rule out on Rio, which we already did. Uh, did we take all the photos? We did. Look at that. All the photos. This feels so much better than just getting nine salt photos. It's just that getting salt photos is so OP. Why would you ever try anything else? It's so strong. Um, okay, I'm just leaving. This should literally just be a Yure unless I got turbo trolled, which I can't... Oh, hi. Post for me. Wait, what? <laughs> That's a good example of why you shouldn't go off of uh, the ghost disappearing for Phantom, because you can still see it in the picture there, right? You can see it at the bottom right of the screen, that it's clearly in the picture, even though it disappeared right as I took that photo. Okay, so this should absolutely be a Yure, unless that Yure ability was uh, somehow caused by something else. Oh, I still took the photo of the ghost after the thing was full. Well, uh, but we'll see how it is. It was. There you go. Just simple. So, so the difference between getting this objective and not is like a thousand. It's insane. That last objective there should have definitely stuck around to quickly get that. Uh, but it's fine. We already level maxed out, so it doesn't do anything for us anymore. Okay, well, I got to show you that one. Let's go to... Let's go to Edgefield. I actually really like Edgefield. Edgefield is one of the harder maps for a no evidence run. Uh, because the looping spot here is really bad. Oh god, it's foggy. It's foggy in the truck. Because that's how nature works. Charles Bitch, uh, I mean Birch. Edgewood. What do we have? I was hoping for tarot cards or some shenanigans. Not really. I'm just hoping for tarot cards because it's funny. Hello? Oh, breaker. Wait. Okay, so I didn't. The breaker is just off by default. I swear I said that, but I guess I didn't click save or apply. Maybe I just set it to be visible on the on the board or on the chart here, but not. Oh, I set the wrong one. I made it visible on the map, but not turned on by default. That is the wrong way around. Whoopsie daisy. I heard something upstairs, by the way. That's a bit of a oopsie daisy right there. Imagine the last ghost was a gin. That is a big boner you got. You don't have to take a photo of a bone at all, by the way. In got a 
and get through this phone. I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be hanging off the table. All right, we got a voodoo doll as well. This is a good room. I like this room. It's a little bit annoying. Wait, what just happened? Turn on this light. Ah, I turn on this light. Very important. To, this is why I'm telling you, the EMF. It's funny how the EMF is one of the most important items during a no evidence run. Um, just because knowing like exactly what activity is happening and where and what did the ghost do, what did you do, like being able to distinguish those from each other um, is very important for doing stuff like that right there, ruling out a mare instantly. We'll grab all this stuff. Actually, we'll start with this. Okay, good stuff. Yeah, the tier 3 EMF is just always beeping. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, you can't hide from a Dio. Dio's are spooky. Um, these are the, the ghosts I die to the most, but I know there's a- I know there's people! Oh, hi there. Wait, I have a... Take a picture. It's not disappearing. Um, I know there's people, post for me, that are extremely experienced, uh, that have like- Wait, did I get the shoulder bug again? Wait, yeah! <laughs> it's, a, it's a little a bit less uh, obvious this time, but it happened again. You know what what happens whenever I tell something, whenever I report a bug like this to the devs? Yeah, sorry, we couldn't really reproduce it. Uh... <laughs> well, the, I play two games. <laughs> so I don't know what to tell you. It's just literally play the video game. <laughs> Okay, anyway, I should look for Orbeez. <laughs> so fucking annoying. <laughs> I'm not seeing Orbeez, so no mimic. I should have walked into the ghost there, I guess. Uh, to Excuse me! Aha! Uh -huh. That is strange, maybe roaming? <clears throat> it's not even that cold here. I mean, maybe... Hey, at least if this uh, streaming thing ever fails, I know that I'll have a job in QA somewhere. <laughs> I, I, got a, I got a whole catalog of videos to point towards <laughs> as a working experience. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> it's radio again. You creep. This is spooky. I need to grab a candle. Professional bug tester. Yeah, I'm like an unpaid bug tester now. I'm just doing this for free. I mean, not really. I mean, yes and no. It's complicated. Uh, we grab this because we... Oh, we already have one in there, right? We check for salt. Uh, two crucifixes can never go wrong. Always good to have. I'm assuming it's like because I don't know. It has something to do with ghost events, right? The the flashlight bug, like the shoulder flashlight bug. It has something to do with the way ghost events make your flashlight blink. But I don't know. I'm not here to freaking fix the bugs. I'm here to report the bugs. And you give us a sign. Put that. Well, I found the ghost. All right, no wraith, no phantom. Probably no shade, because that ghost event was pretty early. I should have tested for- I should have looked for sanity. No mimic, we already said that. Uh, I'm gonna quickly check my sanity so we can do a, uh... Oni and Banshee test here. What is my sanity at? It is... Oh, 90... Whoa, holy fuck. 92? 92, around that mark. Finally! Proof of a ghost! Truly. Uh, we'll grab more of these, because we're gonna- You know we're gonna need them later on. I mean, I'm s Uh, it's just really frustrating, like this. Because I, like, genuinely really enjoyed this game, and playing it, so it's just a huge shame that it's like- That there's just so many situations right now that just lead to you dying that's just, like, completely out of your control. Uh, which is very, very stupid. I didn't- I took that. Hi, you are pretty wild. But I can walk into the ghost. It's a singing ghost event. 
Here we go. So we were at 92. So normal ghost would be at 82. Um, I guess that's our baseline here. Yeah, they actually fucking. Oh, yeah, 82. So normal ghost. So no Oni, no Banshee. There's something with this, man. What is this? Why? I'm, I'm guessing it has to do with if the EMF3 is close to the ghost event when the ghost event is happening. Because you can literally see it right here. Uh, you see the... Because the, the, the ghost event was only very short, right? The EMF was going crazy. And then I walked into the ghost. The ghost event disappeared. But the EMF stays a little longer. So this time was when the ghost was physically there messing with the EMF. And this is after that. So I think they just introduced a new... I mean, I wouldn't be against keeping this in as a feature. But it's clearly... It's clearly new. <laughs> um, where, like, the ghost... Messing with the EMF makes it show up on the board like that. I mean, there's another bug with the tier 3 EMF is that it can pick up EMF 1s, which are literally non-existent. There's nothing in the game that gives an EMF 1, so I don't really know what's going on there. Okay, uh, well, we already got all the photos now. If I can find my photo cam. Already took this many. We take six over here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Easiest game of my life. All right, can you give us a sign? We're at 82, so we should still be totally safe unless it's like a yokai or something. Come back in here, please. Um, no, still cold. It zooms when you crouch. What? Oh, you mean... It's, you're not faster when you crouch. People always ask me, why do you crouch? It's just so you can see the floor better. Can you give us a sign? You're being not very cooperative here. I mean, you did a few ghost events. Cleanse it. We could just get a hunt. What was our... It's uh, this right here. I guess we do that. Just to quickly rule out some hunting ghosts. Oh, baby. <laughs> I forgot about that. See? These are the bugs that I hope we keep. But we have, like, this track record recently where the fun bugs get fixed before the bugs that actually matter. Like, these are hilarious to me. Fucking bonking the head of the voodoo doll on the side of the stairs like this. Holy shit, he's got a long neck. <laughs> I'm killing him. All right, let's use this thing, I guess. Uh, we don't have a smudge. We should probably grab one of the smudges from upstairs. That would otherwise be a bad idea. You doing anything? Blinking some lights. Uh, wait, we need to take these out of here. I almost forgot that these will block the hunt. <laughs> that would have been a little bit of a oopsie. And then grab two of these. You're still here? No, wait a minute. That's huge for Gorio. If true, huge if true. I think it's true. Yeah, it's colder out here, okay. No Gorios. That's that's amazing, because I hate Gorios. I hate having to figure out Gorios. So that's nice. Let's see. It should make uh it should make fireplaces that you can light with the with the lighter. That'd be fun. Right, I'm gonna leave both of these here. I hear stuff. Knock on um, close in that room. Doors. More doors. Knock on the window. Doors again. Okay, dude. Can I get a harp in? There we go. Okay, it's fast. Right, you? Oh, on to. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Wait, can we do something cool? Can I go over here and show you the Hantu freezing breath? Turning off the breaker. Yeah, look at that! <laughs> See that? Now there's freezing breath. <laughs> so if you turn off the breaker, the haunted will have freezing breath, and when the breaker's on, there won't be any. But you can still notice it based on the speed. Uh, but now, because I just turned off the breaker during the hunt, it doesn't matter because the temperature takes a while for it to, to get cold. Like, obviously, you want to keep the breaker on against the haunted, right? 
because it's gonna make the ghost really fast. But if you turn it on or turn it off right as the hunt starts, you will get you will get all the benefit without any of the downside. All right, well, uh, regardless, we did. That's another perfect game right there. I think by accident, I wasn't even really going for that. Should be haunted because we look for mimic orbs as well. So no mimic. Um, it's just I, I like whenever I do this to try and show as many different ways to rule out the ghost because. Yeah, we got a hunter. I forgot that there was a ghost we didn't have yet. Let's go. Uh, another three freaking thousand. Goodness gracious. And we're doing these runs fast too, man. Uh, let's do all small maps. We haven't done bridge for you yet. We're doing this pretty damn fast. Uh, I like showing off as many different strategies because it depends on the game. Like the real, like what, what makes it so fun to me to know all these little things about the game and what makes just sometimes I'll still learn new things like little, little, Things that only matter like in one out of a thousand games, but when they matter, it just feels really cool. Because if you have like this huge toolbox of all these little things that you know, these little tricks, like in any situation, you'll be able to like figure, like grab the right tool for the job. Be like, okay, so this is a very large room, so I can't do this, but I might be able to do that. And maybe it'll be annoying in this way, but good in another way. Oh, well, hello there. Could be Wraith or Banshee or Phantom. Because that was uh, immediately right next to me. Hello. We'll see. We'll check for Orbeez and stuff. Hey, Bree, thank you for the 23. Yeah, I should turn the breaker. Uh, the breaker being up by default is fine. That's like regular nightmare stuff. We can just turn it on, right? It doesn't matter too much. Um, what I could have seen here, maybe, is if there was a, an extra EMF before the throw EMF. Uh, that could have been like the ghost ability, but it doesn't show. Nor did we see it on the thing. So maybe no EMF, I guess. Or no uh, teleporty ghost, just normal. Got this. Ridgeview, my beloved. Ridgeview is real neat. I like, I think I like the maps that have like go to hiding spots that you can rely on even when uh, like there's a lot of blocked hiding spots because like I think the main issue I have with the, the hiding spot system is that. I don't agree with the devs on what is actually a hiding spot some of the time. A good example is uh, Willow Street House. There is this one hiding spot on Willow Street House in the basement that is like literally just sitting next. It's like, what is a good example? It's just sitting next to like in the middle of the room, there's like a, a thing and you can sit next to that to have like a slight hiding spot. But if the ghost even remotely gets into the room, it will always see you and kill you. Uh, it's in like the right storage so that hiding spot even though it's considered a hiding spot by the devs and it can be blocked and unblocked is like one of the least safe hiding spots of all time so what can happen is that you literally have one hiding spot on nightmare for example there's randomly you could get only one and that could be that hiding spot which means that you have like pretty much like effectively no hiding spots at all um so in situation like that it's extremely annoying um and I really appreciate hiding spots like this. Oh, well, a lot of mare. Uh, that you can, <laughs> that you can rely upon, um, being there every single game you play. All right, we got what? What goes? So, look at these big ass throws, man. That's this is three different throws, and they're all like boom, boom, boom. There's some yeeting going on here. Are you in the? Yes. Okay. So, very important distinction here. This has become way more confusing since they changed the layout of uh, Ridgeview. But this right here, this strip of floor, is considered the entrance. And this is considered the dining room. That is considered the living room. And this is obviously the kitchen. So, this is not all one room. This is actually two rooms. That is a room, and this is a room. So, in this situation, you can see that. Because here, the, the, the temperature is, like, going down because this is the ghost room. As soon as I step on this carpet... Um... It's gonna go up, as you can see. It's going up right now because this is a different room, which is very confusing, but it's one of those things that you either know because you played on old Ridgeview where it was way more clear, um, or you, I guess, just notice it over time. <laughs> Do you think they will patch the Ridgeview layout? The Ridgeview layout is not a bug. They, they've, <laughs> they, they put work into changing that, which I... I don't know. I I think when I went back to the old Ridgeview, I think I did kind of prefer the old Ridgeview, but it's it's not 
like game breaking in any way i think they did they tweaked some of this setup i mean if we were to go back to old ridgeview we would lose the fridge spot right which is a total disaster so please no keep it keep it the way it is <laughs> What is going on? Two touches. Suspicious. You are doing... No, that's not a very big throw. Just a regular throw. Okay. Um, I should grab a candle. I don't know why I have none. Ah, sir. Thank you for the donation. Thank you. When we, we would get the counter looping spot back. Uh, actually, that is a fair point. <laughs> that's, that's probably better than a hiding spot, huh? Okay, motion sensor. And parabolic microphone. Well, we need to do that anyway. Loopy, loopy. Thank you for the prime. Ghost is not doing any ghost events, but it is throwing quite a bit. There it is. It's up there. Place is just on this, I guess. We have lighter in there. Right, let's t count for another throw. Can you give us a sign? You don't even know how to play this game anymore. I mean, you can loop. You can loop around a kitchen island in this version for sure. That's high enough for you to be able to uh, break line of sight. You can loop around the tables. They're like slightly too low. So it's not going to break line of sight. Except in motion sensor again. We already got that. I need you to do a ghost event as well, sir. Are you a shade... It blew out. Well, that's the first blowout. Also, remember, you can always take a photo of that. You can hear the... Can you give us a sign? Alright, and then we get the paramic. That's a whisper. Can you show yourself? I just need a ghost event, right? No photo, yes. It's throwing many things in quite a large range, but I don't think... Big enough. It's just throwing the stuff on the wall here, right? So that's lo that's very uh, uh, or very logical because the ghost is in this. This is actually a great example of where you can figure out that it's in this room and not this room based on the throwing behavior. Because it's in, it's throwing stuff in the kitchen or in the dining and the kitchen on this uh, counter right here. Nothing over there, uh, and like nothing over there. Uh, which means, like, it's it's close to both of those. It's, like, in the middle of that. That's a thing you actually, like, very often have to use. Uh, because there's certain rooms, like this one, that don't have anything in it. So, if you would just to go off of pure, like... Oh, hello. I'm just gonna break the lights. Wait, no. Oh, this, there was no light on in there. Uh, at least we got the ghost event. If you were to just purely go off of um, the items, like... Oh, there's items being thrown here. This must be the ghost room. Then rooms that have no items, you would never be able to figure out that that's the ghost room, right? Um, we're pretty dang low on sanity somehow. Even though I've been standing in the light the whole time. Surprising. Hmm. Get this main. Thank you for the prime. Interesting. No more. I actually. Wait a minute. Wait, that's actually... It didn't hunt. Great point, because we got a paramic response. Take the photo. Let's see if it goes lower. Still. So we were at 60. We need to have a smudge stick, though. Just in case. Because if it is a Moro, it's going to be dangerous. Moroi curse. So the Moroi curses you when you either get a spirit box response or when you get a sound on the paramic. And because we did get a sound on the paramic, we could be cursed right now. And the thing is uh, that you can... Well, that's going to be easy. You... This was all the salt, right? I just threw all of it up here. So I can just take all the photos. Uh, how many? Two more. I mean, better boom. Uh, this will even drain your sanity, what I was gonna say. This will even drain your, drain your sanity when you're standing in a room that has lights on. Or when you're previously, when you were holding a candle, when that would prevent all your sanity. It doesn't do that anymore. Oh no, run. I don't want to be touched by that. By the airball ghost event. Because I want to see just a regular sanity drain here. No. No more. Interesting. Weird that our sanity is so low though. Okay, anyway, I think the thing that happened there is that I was so, what you have to keep in mind, when a room, like, in a situation like this, where this is considered a separate room, 
Uh, it might also have a separate light switch. Maybe, maybe this one doesn't even have a light switch or that one, probably. Oh yeah, yeah, this one probably is the light switch for the entrance. So if this is not on and you're standing here, even though that light is on, you'll still lose sanity because this is technically a different room and you need to make sure that the main room, main light of the room you're in is on, right? Okay, well, anyway, I think we're gonna stand in the living room here. We already know it's on, on Rio, right? So we don't really care anymore. We just kind of want to see a hunt happen. Um, did I already check for curse possession? I don't remember what it was. Was it a board? It's not a board. Not tarot cards, right? I know Oni because of airball. Yes, very smart. Um, I mean, we got only two ghost events, and they were both shadow and airball, which is very suspicious. I didn't get the ghost photo for the phantom, which is unfortunate. Hopefully, it's not going to hunt somehow far away from that crucifix and kill my ass while I take a sip. Did I uh, look for... I don't think I looked for orbs. Wait a minute. Maybe we're just dealing... Yeah, not a wraith. Maybe we're just dealing with a uh, mimic here. That would be stupid. Let's see. I'm not seeing any. What is it with the roof being dark in night vision now? Has that always been the case? Have I just never noticed that? Why is that like that? <laughs> what is that? I don't know. It's weird. Let's turn all this stuff on. We need to test for... Um, Maybe it's always been like this and I just noticed it for the first time. It's the void up there, yeah. We're setting up for poltergeist here. We just want to get a hunt now. It definitely isn't a demon. Demon would have hunted us 10 times over already by now. We'll just uh, keep this turned off. We're trying to kind of naturally lower our sanity. I mean, obviously we could just use the curse possession, but then you won't learn what the like natural hunt tendency is. Like when the ghost wants to wants to hunt. Like if you get a ghost to hunt all the way when you're at like 35 or 30, you might be dealing with a shade, which is good evidence that you will completely miss if you decide to use the cursed possession to trigger a hunt. Oh, ah, there we go. Alrighty, well we got our uh, our first hunt. Let's see when this was. Immediately run the hell out of there because this is what we're mostly in interested in. If we just wanted to get a hunt, we could just use the cursed possession. We want to know when this ghost start hunting, which is pretty much exactly at 50%. So it is definitely not a shade, and it is definitely not a Dio, because those would have hunted um, later. Probably not a Raichu that would hunt would have hunted earlier. Uh, probably not a Thay, because it's very unlike... I mean, could be. Definitely not a Mimic, though. Uh, let's just get a hunt now, and see if we can learn anything from that. So we need to find our cursed possession. Just constantly walk in there. What what are we thinking here? This is a bit so weird. It's like a shy behavior. It was throwing a lot and then suddenly wait, maybe this is a poltergeist again. Oh what the hell? Alright, I get it. You're you're very angry, ghost. Guess I'll just remove this. Is this still gonna use it outside? I need to really light this. We could die to the quiet hunting glitch here. You're gonna you're gonna Learn it first, or you're gonna see it firsthand. If the ghost hunts from here, I'm I'm dead. And there's not much I can do. I should have probably played the, placed the crucifix there instead of throwing it outside. That's like the only thing I could have done. Um, are you in here? Oh, you're in the basement. Ghost photo? I mean, probably. Post for me. <laughs> okay, run. Don't want to die. Oh, fuck. Okay. Not a bolter. Wait, why did the... Wait, did it just freezing breath? Oh, God. Probably gonna run the fuck out of here. Jabish. Was it just... What? It was just speeding up, right? It was just normal speed. It wasn't... Like, it was normal speed and then it just sped up. But the... Han through freezing breath shouldn't be there because it's the breakers on. Um... No revenant. 
Vinciani Obake, definitely no Phantom. We would have I mean the photo already. Uh, Poltergeist, no. Jin, we haven't had to turn off the breaker yet. I think the yeah, the hunt's already over. Okay, we can test for Jin here. Let's do some. Uh, it's gonna be a, oh, a little tricky. There's another smudge stick right here. Uh, smudge timer. I didn't do a proper smudge timer, but it should be like I don't know, 30 seconds ago at this point. So it should have been 30 seconds. So in about a minute, we should get hunts. And you give us a sign. Oh, there we go. Okay, normal hunting. Just ran upstairs. This is a bolt or a yokai. Why is my flashlight blinking when the ghost isn't even on this floor? Is this a Raichu? Okay, no, it's not. It's also not a yokai. Am I gonna die here? Still, this was very risky. Extremely strange. Okay, there I smudged it at 42, like 35. 42, 35. Definitely not a spirit though already, and probably not a demon. No, we did a yokai test there. No miling. We need to do a proper gin test because it doesn't turn off the breaker throughout all of this, which is kind of suspicious. Need to grab more smudge sticks. Not a miling. I don't think so, but I guess I guess we'll leave it on. I mean, Obaka seems unlikely as well. Uh, I'm not gonna use any sanity. We're just extremely low so that the ghost will hunt, but pretty much as soon as it's able to. Which it seemed like that last hunt was like exactly after a minute and a half past. It's, it just didn't find me immediately, which was kind of annoying. Because we need to be like this far away, otherwise it's not going to speed up if it's a gin. Cute stuff. Why do I have tier uh, 2 and not tier 3? Because the tier 3 smudge sticks are bugged. I mean, they're... they're like, they did this on purpose. Well, not the part of the thing that makes it bugged and why I'm not using them right now, but they pu push you around. If you crouch with the with the tier 3 smudge, which you have to do if you want to, like, loop around a kitchen island or something, it'll make you unable to go to the right. Like, it'll just block you from going to the right um, because of a hitbox or something. And that hitbox is required, apparently, uh, to make it have physics so it can, like, swing when you move... Oh. Okay, so no... Oh my god, that was kind of scary. So no gin either. Interesting. No... Miling, I would say? It's hard to say. Oh. That's an ominous shadow. Creepy. Um, so yeah, I'm not using the tier three, um, tier three smudge sticks because I want to be able to loop. And honestly, even without that, the tier three smudge sticks I don't think are very good because they will just like, like freezing the ghosts is, I honestly think that just the tier one smudge sticks are the best because they don't mess with the ghost behavior in any way. This could very much just be a Gorio. That would be so fucking stupid. I mean, you can't really rule out, I don't think it's this. Uh, we have to do more Banshee screams, I guess. This is very annoying. Don't hum me. I guess I'm gonna put this in here. Again. Uh, and I saw why I'm not using the tier 3 salt. Uh, the tier 3 salt, uh... I don't like that it repels the ghost outside of a hunt. Because it messes with the ghost's roaming behavior, so you can't really properly figure out if it's a Gorio or something, or... Like... It just, it just fucks with that. And a lot of the time, uh, a ghost will do a ghost event, which will make it go out of the room. And then when it's on its way back into the ghost room, it'll go through a pile of salt, which will then will once again repel it out of the ghost room, which is really stupid because it'll like do the opposite of what you want it to do. It will, it will make you make the ghost leave the ghost room rather than stay inside of it. Um, God damn it. So that's another reason. And the, it's the stupid reason, or the, like, I'm a dumbass reason, is that whenever the ghost steps in tier 3 salt, it slows down, which sometimes fucks with my brain and makes me think it's, like, a, a Dio or something. And I died recently when 
I thought a ghost was a Dio, and I left my hiding spot, but it was actually just stepping in my salt, so I immediately died. <laughs> Which, I don't want to use the tier 3 salt anymore, because it messes with me. Okay, this ghost is being stupid. I guess we're just getting with a Gorya or a Yure here. She really don't... I mean, we had a little bit of roaming. But not much roaming, right? It's just... It's, like, honestly, this is such a Gorya. You know why? I mean, you know why I think. It still could obviously be another ghost. Um, it's been the thing that I often... Obviously not roaming, not change a ghost room, but that's like a gimme. Like, obviously, Gorios are not going to change ghost room, but there's a lot of other ghosts that sometimes also don't change ghost room. The reason why I think this in particular is a Gorio is because it's done a lot of stuff away from the ghost room, like it's done ghost events in the kitchen, it's done lots of activity in the dining room, etc., etc., like all over the place, but it has never changed ghost room. Usually, when a ghost is on the move a lot, it'll tend to also change its ghost room because it's moving a lot. So in this case, we have a roaming ghost that's somehow not changing ghost room. If you have a combination of those two, an actual, like a quite roamy ghost that doesn't change ghost room, it usually is a Gorio, but in this case, it could easily be a Yure that just didn't do its ability because there was no door nearby. Or it could be a Banshee um, that didn't want to do a Whisper nor wanted to roam to my location, but it was, in fact, a Gorio, but again, that's that seems like, oh my god, he's so good, but that was, that was like more of a 70% than it was like a um, for sure situation. Uh, but once again, a lot of money right there. Capture photo, motion sensor. We'll be fine. If we can just keep... I mean, I don't need any experience. It's just nice to see big numbers. I like... I I mean, I come from old Phasma where the only thing you did ever is make number go higher. <laughs> like, you would try to get thousands of levels. Ooh, that's kind of spicy. I, I'm feeling it. I'm gonna... We're gonna go hard. And we're just gonna use the music box right away. You can play Lethal Company solo. It's just that the way Lethal Company works is that if you, you, like, you need to have, you can't just sell your scrap right away. Like, if they remove the quota, like, the, the, having, buying stuff for 30% on the day one, if they remove that for when you play solo, I think that would be a good move. Because you can't, like, because what you have to do is keep all your scrap in your ship and then uh, sell it on the last day. But if you die on, um, on the last day, you lose everything and you just immediately fill your quota, obviously. So yeah, that's the problem I have with uh, playing it single player. Yeah, I, we did the secret on the company planet yesterday. It's still, it's not doing anything though. <laughs> At least it didn't do anything for me. I was holding a walkie-talkie to the wall and everything down there, but it didn't do shit. Anyway, uh, we should also, uh, I mean, I guess I'll just not have a smudge stick because I want to take the ghost photo. Upstairs. In here? Oh, another- No, it's fine. Okay, run. I wanna go- Yeah, well, I'm not a yokai. Oh my god, it's, it's not a phantom, though. Not a special speed ghost. It's kind of fast, but not too crazy. Is it like blinking? Like Oni blinking or something? Oh, it's Oni? Wait, is it? Can't really say. Seems like it. Oh god, I'm so dead. I think that was Oni, or maybe Poulter, I don't know. We're gonna have to <laughs> get it. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. It looked kind of like an Oni to me, but it also cleared the whole thing here, which is kind of Poultery. I was just a little too distracted by trying to fucking survive. <laughs> Not an Oni, we'll see, we'll see. We'll have to do it again. I was, uh, I'm just glad I lived. Cause it was properly, ch sometimes there, the ghost will just like double back and kill your ass. Cause you can't keep your flashlight on because then you will also die. 
Yeah, it's hard to- it was hard to tell Oni because we obviously didn't have the room light on, which means you can't see it all the time. So it might seem like it's blinking more or less based on when your flashlight blinks, right? But it's made a big mess here. I don't think my sanity's gonna be very low though, because I didn't use the music box for very long. Uh, let's see. Boom, boom. Our pro this is more than enough. Let's see what my sanity is though. And I also need to grab another bird I drop lighter. There. Grab more smudge sticks. Otherwise we're gonna be in danger. Because now we have uh, cursed hunts for the rest of this. Which means Cursed Hunts are so more much more dangerous now because of the quiet hunt bug, because like the Grey Spirit will be even shorter, which means you have even less time to react. Okay, so we are low enough sanity. I guess we'll grab this and two of this. Maybe grab some salt, actually. Maybe we'll grab salt. Just having one of this is fine. The owner's coming back. Why is our kitchen a mess? Yeah, there was a poltergeist. I can explain. Polter achievement. We... The polters are bugged right now. They... Uh... You can't reliably get a pol a big polter throw anymore because there is... It seems we haven't been able to truly pinpoint what the bug is with the poltergeist. Um, but it seems that based on our testing, the poltergeist can only throw each item once. So if you make a whole pile and the ghost throws like an... Or like does a hunt or something or has already thrown some of the items, it won't be able to do an ability off of that item anymore. So it won't be able to do uh, an ability off of the pile that you made, which means that you can stare at it for as long as we, we stared at a, a pile of items for 40 minutes and it didn't throw a single item in the pile for 40 minutes when the ghost was in the room, which is obviously impossible for a poltergeist. Like, a poltergeist should be throwing all the time. Why are you not hunting, by the way? This is extremely sussy. Maybe shade? Definitely no demon. It's not a Dio, though, right? Yeah, I don't know. Because we were just trying to get a cool... Like, we were trying... Oh. oh. Definitely not a shade, because you hunted while I was in the room. Bull. Just shy, I guess. Okay, let's see. Polter! Wait, Polter? Yes, look at all these big throws, right? Yeah. Look at that. It just, like, launches everything into outer space. <laughs> nice. That's sick. Good to see you, my friend. Doing some big throws. Just, like, everything flew super far. There's still stuff- Oh, no, that's a smudge stick. Never mind. Not to make the ghost too fast. You're gonna hear so many clicks. Why is it? What is that? You saw that? Why did it turn like that? Why did? It, why does it get confused in this corner? What happened? It's so strange. It did it like two times in a row. Uh, anyway, that is a poltergeist. Easy peasy. Uh, let's I go. Polter. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's also that the stats are not reliable at all because the stats are bu bugged as fuck. Like, they, they don't show you what actually happened. They just show... <laughs> like, because a lot of the stats are things that the ghost wanted to do, but didn't actually get to do. Like, when a shade, for example, wants to do something, but then it realizes, oh, wait a minute, I shouldn't do that because I'm a shade I'm a, and I'm supposed to be shy. It still counts that as a number for the stats. So sometimes you'll be like, what the fuck, this shade did nothing? And you look at the stats, it says, like, 300 interactions, and you're like, what the fuck, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go crafting. Let's see, we got Lucy. Hi, Lucy. How you doing? I need the flashlight. I don't need the flashlight, but I want the flashlight. It's my most common ghost mimic still, unless it changed. It is still mimic. <clears throat> Alright, buddy, where you at? We have music box again. I mean, I guess we go sicko mode. Can we get lucky again? Because we had a bunch of hard ghosts. We had a Yure and a Gorio, right? Now we, now we need to get some easy stuff. Be nice to us. Whether you pull up the achievements menu, you have to open your Steam overlay, which, uh, if you haven't touched it, it should be Shift-Tab, the shortcut for it. 
But you can change that to whatever you want. Let's see. Uh, I've got to grab the music box, but I should probably turn on the breaker first, otherwise we're going to be in trouble. How many hours? How many hours exactly? Wait, can you not see that anymore? 155 mission or minutes in this setting. Session. Oh, let's just throw right here. Excuse me. All right, well, I'm glad I am turning on the breaker. Should be like it's bottom left. I don't see it. I don't see. It. I mean, pri I'm not going to click all those buttons because I don't know what it's going to show and I don't want to accidentally leak other people's shit or like my friend code or something. Um, so, no, thank you. Alrighty. Here we go. I should at least try my sanity a little bit. So, because every... As long as you listen to the song, you'll be draining your sanity. Alright. That should be low enough. Don't bug out, please. Are you in that room? Okay. Nice. I grab the... Normal speed. Not a miling. Another falter? Hello? Dude, what the fuck? Uh, excuse me. It's a falter, guys, right? It fucking sounds insane. Cleared the whole table. Why is he get so confused? You see that? Oh god, I'm gonna have to smudge. No polter? You guys not have your headset on? <laughs> Wait, what? I'm so confused. You're not hearing what is going on here? We'll we'll set up a pile though. It was like freaking bouncing this one thing around non-stop in the living room. We'll see, though. I mean, I wasn't close enough for Yokai there. It's just two polters in a row, though. I mean, I'll fucking take it. We shouldn't have hunts for a little while. I didn't do a proper time. I mean, I guess I didn't throw that, so maybe you're right. But, it, I mean, the table here was completely clean. Don't do that. The air ball? Yes, no Oni. We already knew that. No Oni, no... Or a uh, phantom. That's for sure, because I took a photo. Stop it! <laughs> Mr. Airball. Alright, let's see. Maybe it was just sounding real weird, and there was nothing actually going on. I should probably at least grab a smudge stick, just in case. You miss old maple? I do not miss old maple. I think the new maple is better. Which I don't... I'm... Um, I should be biased towards Old Maple, because it was, like, uh, originally my idea to add a campsite map. And I really enjoyed the, the version of the map that we had, but I think Zek and CJ, which, by the way, we need to give credit to Zek more, because it's not just CJ anymore doing, and also Skinner. Like, we have three artists, not just one artist. Like, I know CJ gets... CJ is like the most outgoing person that has ever existed on planet Earth. So he's like always everywhere, just hanging out with people, chatting with people. But uh, we also have uh, Zek and Skinner who do lots of art. Uh, and obviously, I mean, Lavender and DK, but they don't do art. So that's why I'm, <laughs> I'm saying that I'm just talking about like map design and stuff. All right, ghosty pants, come on, do your thing. Oh. Let's, okay, well, definitely no polter. Why was it throwing so much previously? Let's see, is it gonna be, how do we test for yokai? I'm too close to yokai. You know, I have a plan. If you walk away, walk away. Walk the fuck away. Oh my god, you're supposed to leave. It's throwing a lot though, but not poltergeisty enough. You fucking leave? Jesus Christ, man. 
Yeah, it's easily finding my location, so no yokai. So we were both wrong. Unless it's just a just a mimic, that would be funny. It wasn't a spirit, right? Oh god, we gotta be careful. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm gonna get a crucifix. Wait, that would be amazing. We haven't had a mimic at all. If you use windows of opportunity, you can see the pallets on windows. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, grab this. It was so quiet. I mean, it wasn't a miling. We did that. That was the first test I did. Immediately. Uh, boom. Don't you dare hunt right away. I'm gonna become the Joker. It hunted with me in the room, right? So no... No shade. I mean, we could rule out so many more ghosts. I haven't really properly done it. Let's see. Wait, why is... Huh? I mean, I guess it does provide that much light. I was like, why does it look like the candle was way brighter on the... On the night vision cam. I mean, you can kind of see the wall. The candle is brighter than I thought it was. Okay, so it's not... You know what? Oh, fuck, it's in there now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Just listen. I am not going... Don't you touch me. Don't you dare. This ghost is freaking insane. I'm like completely hidden here. Immediately comes back, so 100% not a yokai. What? You see, like I, that's why I thought it was originally a bolter because it was throwing so much, but. What the fuck? Okay, uh, I think we're just being trolled here. I guess I'm gonna move this in here, but this could also kill me. Are you actually in here now? Ghosts being a bit of a piece of garbage. Let's check for this. Don't hunt right away. I will die here. I'm not seeing any orbs. Okay, and he used it underneath the uh, candle. They blew it out just a moment ago, but definitely not a uh, on Rio. Let's quickly leave. Let's see. Okay, so what do we got right here? Definitely no spirit, right? Because we did that test before. We haven't had this yet. Not this, this. Do we have to, we have to break her on. No Polter, no Yokai. Tantu, Raichu, Moroid, Diothe. Twins we would have noticed. Obake, Revenant, Mimic, Onryo. Holy shit, this is one of the most difficult rounds of no evidence I think I've ever done. Like, the, the ghosts we've had to solve have all been, like, the shitty ghosts that don't have any hunting behavior. I mean, not shitty ghosts, but, like, the hard ghosts for no evidence. Um, we need salt. Maybe it's just a wraith. In, in which case, lol. <laughs> Never mind, I take it all back. We'll see. Boom. Boom. Run. Pick this up. We need to get a paramic too. So we can check for Banshee. Even though it didn't really roam to me yet. So I don't know. We grab this. We need... Yeah, that's what we need for that anyway. Well, I, I guess I'll put this underneath my feet so we can't get killed by a roamy Banshee here. That'll be... It's unfortunate. Right, let's place that. Oh! <laughs> okay, then. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Um! And it immediately threw something all the way back there? What's going on? Wait, what? 
It's something to salt though, so no ray. Just give me the scream. Ooh. Come on. Turn on the breaker here. Turn on the lights, sorry. Come on. Okay, use the crucifix back there now. Fucking weird. It is it the twins? Come on, scream! Do it. At least we can hear the hunting sound with this thing. That's so strange that it used this. Uh, actually! Uh, wait. Oh, fuck you. Did you- That was not twins. You know why? Uh... I have a fun fact about twins. If I can just- You hear how many things it's throwing? It's so weird. I'm just gonna not show myself. Uh, basically... When the twin decides to do like a faraway hunt, right? What we call the decoy hunt. Um, it only checks for crucifix around the position of the ghost and not the position of where it's gonna hunt, which is very strange. So the crucifix here being used actually means it's probably like, well, it doesn't mean it's not a twin, but it wasn't related to the twin because it wouldn't have used the crucifix if it was the twins. Which is kind of stupid that it works that way, but it isn't in apparently intended. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, come on, do something. What is this ghost, dude? It's not a Goryeo, right? Because it changed the ghost room. Unless it was always in that room. Okay, that's for Jin. Seems unlikely to be... Maybe D... Alright, well, there you go. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it is indeed a D or a Banshee. That is a Banshee scream. If you've never heard that before, that is a Banshee. Very nice. Alright, solid. Every map beaten on, or every small map, except Camp Woodwind, because it doesn't count, because fuck that map. Uh, beaten on. No evidence. Very nice. I already got a banshee before. We're still looking for a few ghosts. Still looking for Miling Oni. Only 10 achievements. Miling Oni Revenant Raichu. Four ghosts still. But anyway, that was a bunch of no evidence runs. Uh, we're going to have to say goodbye to our tier 3 item soon. But I'm glad we got to do that. I love no evidence, man. Even with all the bugs, it's still fun. Honestly, no evidence might be a relatively safe way to level up now. Because normal play of, like, nightmare mode and stuff is way harder, in my opinion. Because... Uh, just knowing when the ghost is gonna hunt right now is so important because if you get surprised by a hunt It's game over a lot of the time because you can't hear the ghost properly. But anyway, I've already said all my pieces about um, All the different bugs that are in the game right now I just hope they fix it soon because holy shit is it annoying uh, and I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you learned something if you're not subscribed, please do so if you like the video like it If you dislike it, dislike it and if you want to join the lovely games here in chat You can turn us over to twitch.tv slash or get the link in the description down below. Thank you so much And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one. Bye. Bye